All right, this is One Last Midnight. Welcome back to another episode of Astroneer. Well, it's update time again, and Astroneer has released update 1.18. Now, this is more of a quality of life update. There isn't much uh, that's come out in this update. There's some mark improvements that have been done to the Astropedia and the ability to have some quick access to it. So if you hover over some items, you'll notice that you have an open Astropedia action that you can do to it. And if you hold down that particular key, it will take you directly to that location inside of the Astropedia. The Astropedia has had some significant workovers. You could see that uh, on the natural resources, it lets you know what planets they're on and where they're located, uh, as well as the atmospheric resources, what planets to find them on, and what to refine for the refined resources which I thought was really neat. Also, the composite resources tell you the ingredients of what it takes to actually make them, which is a really nice feature when you're at the chemistry lab and you see that it requires steel. You can now open up the composite resource area and look up steel and say, oh, I need iron, carbon, and argon. So it makes it a lot easier to identify what resources are required for some of these chem lab items and on the printers themselves. More about the Astropedia, if you actually go into the Astropedia, there are some additional pages that have been added in, such as automation. It tells you about auto arms and auto extractors and canisters, logistic items, and they've added information about alternate crafting, such as information on the soil centrifuge, the shredder, and the trade platform. The planets have also been updated. You no longer have the primary and secondary resources. It now tells you where the resources are located, making the description of each planet a lot more useful. In addition, they've added an emote wheel. You can now hold down by using the G key on the keyboard, or if you're using a controller, it's the up on the D-pad. This is mapped to the four emotes that you have, but I can easily see this expanding to 10. And I'm not too sure why they haven't expanded it to 10. But currently, right now, the total number of emotes that you can have uh, mapped is four. So it maps to those particular four emotes. Astroneer's second anniversary is coming up in February, sometime in February. And to celebrate, they're going to be offering, for a limited time, a unique party hat. You remember that uh, in the first anniversary, we got that first anniversary party hat. This anniversary Mark I party hat. Well, they're going to have an anniversary Mark II party hat. So make sure you log in during February to get your free anniversary hat. The rest of the changes is around the XO Outfitters. They've added in new palettes, a new visor, which actually I really want to get this visor, this blackout visor. Because it's solid black, and I like the solid black colors. There's no new suits. There are a few emotes, like the Mind Blown emote, the Make Some Noise one. And this is kind of cool because if you rotate your guy around, when you do this, you can actually see that the particles go flying off into the distance, which I kind of like. Uh, I don't know if I like it as enough to buy it, but uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, there's also the applause, and the giddy clap has been added. Palette-wise, they have this glitter something, which is, I mean, that's out of control. <laughs> that's so much glitter. I don't know what you would do with that. This is almost looks like a Mardi Gras kind of outfit. Really cool. They also have a new Arcadia. I like this a lot, too. I Fortunately, it's a little dark, but, I mean, I like the gold pinstriping or outlining on it. It, it looks really neat. And then finally, they have the evening time attire, which I purchased. Oh, I did I purchase that one? I thought I purchased it. Maybe I didn't. Did now, because I do like the black and white. I think that black and white looks really slick. They've also added in this orbital headlamp. I really enjoy I think this is great. This orbital headlamp is great. Unfortunately, it's not an actual light. If it was a light, like light source, oh man, I would buy this instantly. They've also added in this RSP bow tie. And for visors, they've got this disco ball. You can see it kind of right in here if I turn with my mask. 
And then also the blackout one that they added. I have all of the solid color ones. I like the solid color ones a lot. So I decided to get the blackout one. There was a bunch of bug fixes that happened in 1.18. There was uh, some automation fixes that people have been having problems with. There was uh, some fixes to the catalog, some multiplayer fixes, and also some localization fixes. You could read those. The patch notes are in the description. Also, the store has finally opened up. It should be opening up actually this today, the day of the video. And there's limited items that are available to purchase. So hopefully you get in there and are able to purchase them. At any rate, that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I'd love to have you in the community. If you want to follow me on any of my social media, you can find the links in the description below and make sure to hit that notification bell. That way you know when I go live and when I post new videos. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.